I think it was Jefferson that stated that the, the greatest danger to our Constitution and our way of life was the professional politician. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? And if so, what would you do about that or try to do about sure. that? Sure. Um, I agree, um, and I support term limits, you know, if there were uh, a way to uh, achieve that. Um, I think it is a problem, you know, I think elected office ought to be a noble aspiration, not a career ambition, and I think New Hampshire is a great example of, uh, in many ways, you know, government done well in that, you know, we get paid. $200 a year, and, you know, we're volunteers, and obviously we're there, you know, for the right reasons, by and large, we're not there, you know, to pat our wallets, etc. So I do think it's a problem when, you know, you see on the federal level, people like even our vice president, who apparently has been in office, you know, for most of his life, and is somehow a millionaire, you know, and I don't know how that happens, but, <laughs> um, you know, it's, I think, I think people definitely lose touch lose sight of what they're really there to do. And, you know, I felt this pressure even in the state legislature, and now even as I'm, you know, running for Congress, it's actually one of the areas of my greatest reticence to run because, you know, you don't want to lose what should be, you know, the purity of public service, but there are a lot of things, you know, kind of pulling you in one direction or the other. So it's just a matter of understanding what you're there for and not trying to just always run you know, for re-election, meaning, you know, not uh, not actually accomplishing anything or standing up for anything, but, you know, just trying to contort yourself to, you know, never get stuck, you know, here or there or, you know, tick off any one group or another. So I think, I think it can be, um, I think there are many sad examples of, you know, where elected office is not what it was intended to be. Crook TV.